Good morning vlog. Welcome to a weekend with Louisa. What's up? I can't believe I'm starting it like this right now. I'm in an in and out shirt. My hair is in a bun. Okay, look at though. I want you to see too. I've been putting my hair in a bun like this because then when you get waves. Yeah. When I take it out, it's like magic. Ready? Do you sleep in it? Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful Victoria's Secret looking right now. So, <laughs> so just you me. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa, it's really girly. <laughs> so girly. <laughs> Wait, look, it does look good though. You just have to like I know, I just gotta I just gotta fix it with some with some stuff and then it'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got one to look like Victoria's Secret. It looks like a lion's mane. It smells really good. You know when you put it's it in like a like braid this or something? Right here, you know the big bump The big one at the top. Yeah, that's it. When you put it in like a braid or like a bun or something after you shower, and it smells like so good. Oh yeah. It smells like shampoo. I can smell. So guys, welcome to this college weekend in my life video. That was a funny start to this video. Sorry, I was FaceTiming Louisa. And I tried to show her that this is how I've been liking doing my hair, but when it came out, it was like really crazy because I think because I slept for so long, so it was in a bun forever. But this is how I like it, just like loose waves. So after like an hour, this is it like calmed down. Also, if you didn't notice, don't have a my belly button piercing in anymore. And that's actually because I can't get it in. <laughs> I got my belly button pierced. The day I turned 18, and now I'm 22. Wow, that is four years ago. Okay, so a full four years ago, and after surgery, like I had it out for literally one week. I tried to put it in, and I can't get it back in, and it hurts so bad. And yeah, so help, what do I do about that? I don't know what to do. I have to get it repierced? Like, I don't know. Isn't that crazy? It just closed up after like a week, pretty much. Anywho, like I showed you in my last video, I think I showed it yesterday, but that was in like this last college week in my life video like my last video um this is like literally what i wear every day now because with my brace it's just a lot easier with shorts even though it's like winter um and this leg like already looks so funny like my quad is non-existent it's just not there and this one's like popping and yeah this one's gone and my calf is just really swollen so my legs just look like really funny but that's okay i'm gonna go do a little workout um I realized too all this time I've like haven't been doing upper body or like any workouts I've just been doing like PT and I'm like wait I could totally crush some upper body so I'm gonna do that today and depending on if there's anyone in there I can film a little bit but if there's people in there like I don't want to get them in it um, and I'm probably gonna put a shirt on just cuz yeah I'm like naked so and I gotta go put my brace on this is bad of me I haven't been wearing my brace as much as I'm supposed to but I'm supposed to wear it like literally 24 7 until I can walk normal so yeah. Oh, also pre-gym little snack. Guys, this is a new flavor, I'm pretty sure, from RX Bar. It's banana chocolate walnut. And you guys know me, how much I love bananas. And I feel like I'm picky about banana flavored things. But this literally tastes like a banana like muffin. It's so good. So, would I recommend? Um, yeah. Also, like I said in my last video, I've been obsessed with my new hydro flask that I got for my birthday. So mmm. And now that I'm seeing it, I don't know if I even showed you guys this. Look at this. Hmm. <laughs> it's so cute. Max literally got me this like canvas collage for my birthday. And I cried when I opened it, obviously, because look at it. It's so many memories. He goes, I knew you were going to cry when you opened it. <laughs> but isn't it so cute? <laughs> guys, when I sit is when I really notice. Look at the difference between my two legs like this is literally a hot dog and obviously you can see my knee in this one and you literally can't in this one because it's just so swollen from surgery still and if you can see this kind of goes out you can see like where my quad is in here <laughs> it's just a straight little pencil like there's literally nothing but that's okay um basically <laughs> that probably was so scary to see I look at my legs and I'm like I don't even recognize them PT oh yeah and I put on a shirt my PT was saying that What's most important in the beginning is range of motion. And she's like, the strength will come. Don't worry. Because I'm like, my poor quad. And she's like, it's going to be okay. Like, the strength will come. But first off, most importantly, is range of motion. So that's most of my physical therapy exercises right now. Some are quad strength, and they're really tough. Like, leg presses, I can do, like, sets of six, like, twice. Because they're so hard. Um, and, like, heel raises and stuff. Like I said, I'll show you some, so... Okay, yay guys, gym to myself so I can vlog a bit. 
So the first thing my physical therapist told me to do was to bike every day, no matter what, even if it's just like five, 10 minutes, just because that'll help a lot with range of motion on its own, just getting your knee like bent all the way at the top. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to start off with. Okay, so for example, today my knee is very stiff, so sometimes I can only do like the bottom half because I can't bend my knee <laughs> that much. It just gets kind of stuck right around there, but that's okay, and so we just do <laughs> the bottom part. <laughs> Guys, look at by the end, if my knee gets warmed up enough, I can go all the way around. I'm like sweating. <laughs> okay, you guys. The arms that I like to do, I just did one time through and I'm like sweating, it's so tough and it's not even that much, I just am so tired and I haven't done them in like probably a week and a half, two weeks because of surgery and stuff, so when I do my second set, I'll probably end up relocating to the mirror, but here goes nothing. <laughs> camera battery is dying so I'm not quite done with my arms yet the last thing I'll do with these like shoulder lifts and they're well that's just what I call them <laughs> and they're like killer but my battery is dying so I'm gonna do finish my arms and abs and then I'm gonna film again when I do some of my PT exercises because that's what I actually want to show you guys <laughs> okay so did my core <clears throat> and my arms and now we're gonna move on to PT for my knee and what I'm gonna do right now is probably the hardest thing for me and it's just really with the range of motion of my knee so this is what we do on my stomach I can't even like lift this leg because my hamstrings all wonky too so I bring it up like this with my right leg that's like as far as it can go and I can also use like a um, yoga strap this is kind of too stretchy so I think I'll just like put it here with this leg and I hold it like as far as it can go just as it starts to get uncomfortable, hold it for like five seconds and then let it go. And this one's like really tough because my knee is just stuck. Like it's so bizarre that your knee is stuck like that. And ideally, I could lower it down on my own, like just like that slowly, but I can't yet. So I kind of assist it down with my right foot slowly. So that's the first thing I do. <laughs> Okay, you guys, now we're gonna do um, straight leg heel raises. These are also quite tough. Okay, camera's dying, but last one I do is heel slides down the wall like this, which is fun and just works on my range of motion. <laughs> guys, I've literally started to eat the same thing every day. Avocado toast, eggs. Everybody, we made it, <laughs> and so did Mac. Dang it, my battery's dying. I didn't grab a new battery. Five, four, people. Hello. <laughs> Guys, literally my battery had, why is this one dying too? I thought this one was charged. Okay, I guess all my batteries are dying. But basically, it's best two out of three this weekend and they won yesterday and lost today. It was very heated. It was a big, huge fight at the end. We were freaking out. We were insane. like this. But um, they were yeah. <laughs> So now me and Louise are having a sleepover. Oh God, I'm the max like for the summer. night. I know. Yeah, she's the max replacement because since they have to stay in Lowell, since they have another game tomorrow, Louise is my it's sleepover just like buddy. <laughs> How cute are <laughs> That is cute. That feels like forever ago. And now it's snack time because it's, oh my God, it's 11.30. I literally forgot I got those. I got those forever ago. So I good. forgot what they're like. I feel like I thought they would just be like the honey roasted peanuts. Yeah, they are. Or just chickpea version. So they're probably better. You're the queen of like healthy snacks like this. And, like kale chips or like quinoa. coconut cookies quinoa, or like quinoa chocolate, crispy things. Undercover quinoa. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so as literally as if you're eating chocolate. Good morning, you guys. The last thing you saw was my camera battery dying. Why is it dying again? I thought I just grabbed a new one. I'm so confused, but I'm going to work out. <laughs> this one's 100%, just grabbed it out of the charger. We're good to go. I don't think I'm gonna bring you to the gym with me because I did yesterday. Um, and yeah, today is the third out of the three games 
for BU versus UMass Lowell in the playoffs. And if BU wins today, they play at the Garden next Friday for semifinals. Yeah, that sounds right. Because Saturday is um like our conference championship for Big East, right? <laughs> I keep calling it bean pot and that already happened. I'm trying my best here people But yeah, so today is really exciting the games earlier. They're always at like 7, but today it's at 4 and so gotta get my workout on um, And yeah, I don't know I feel like even when I feel unmotivated like today I'm like oh I'm lazy I don't want to go and then I'm like wait my physical therapist told me that biking every day is only gonna make my knee better and range of motion and obviously I do my physical therapy exercises every day so I'm like why am I feeling unmotivated like let's get after it people so that's where I'm going right now and then I'm gonna come back get ready and we're gonna go to the game Whoa. oh Louisa <laughs> look who joined us people <laughs> they just ubered all the way to both, Lowell. Also, we both fell asleep on the From draft. And they both fell asleep on the way here. Yeah, and they were, as you can tell, Louisa's up. having a good day. He's like, he's like, Julia, honey, honey, wake up. I'm like, uh, 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 hello, down. <laughs> he's like, you've arrived. <laughs> can you not? So, ladies, bring me through your thought process of thinking that you should Uber 50 minutes to Lowell from the bar on St. Patrick's Day. She's alive. She literally was like, should we go? And I was like, really fun I know I only filmed <coughs> a little bit but yeah that was really awesome they won for one and then they play again on Friday at the garden and they'll play Northeastern I believe because I think BC is about to beat Providence anyway so it's like weird how it all works out because it's all based on like who wins and loses um but yeah, so basically now everyone in my sorority is really sad because none of our dates can come to date party because it's Friday night and they all are going to semifinals. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Um, so that's really sad because now Max can't come to my date party. But obviously it's exciting that they're like advancing in hockey. And yeah, that was really funny that Luisa and Julia showed up because it was literally a $50 Uber and a 50 minute ride <laughs> from BU all the way to UMass Lowell and they came just for like half the game. And well, not even. They showed up at the end of the second period and then we're there for the third and then right as it was over, we're like, okay, we're Ubering back to BU because today is St. Patrick's Day. So everyone's like partying and having fun all day. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Merry St. Patrick's Day. I'm so festive as you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, and then Lucy and Mandy and Kerrigan get back tonight from Paris, which is really fun. So I'm excited to see them. I think they get in around like nine or 10 or something. But yeah, that is my little update. <laughs> Good morning vlog. Well, this is just gonna be me ending off the weekend vlog. He says he feels like he has stuff on his face. Look at it. No, <laughs> yeah, there's sriracha right there. Oh. <laughs> um, I made it's avocado toast and eggs. Happy Monday morning. It's so weird that it's Monday already. Like spring break is over. So weird. But yes, this is me ending off the weekend vlog because I never do that. So thanks for watching. Bye.